This time around on Mel's Mountain Garage. More club car. Hey, what's up and welcome to Mel's Mountain Garage. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're first time here and you like the content, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the bell for notifications for more stuff and check out some of my other videos. This time around, I'm going to be doing some modifications on my 2002 club car. It's gas. It's got the FE 290. Uh, check out some other videos I've been working on, rebuilt the motor and whatnot. Since I rebuilt the engine and advanced the timing a handful of degrees, did some jet changes in the carburetor, I am now going to modify the air box. And what I mean by that is the bottom of the air box is bolted to the cart and the air inlet hole for it, you'll see it. It's, it's probably about as big around as my thumb. So what I want to do is pull the whole air box out, open that hole up a little bit where the gasket is, and it'll take one less restriction in the air intake track out of it. And how we do that is get yourself some pliers and get that spring clamp, pull the duct off, Remove your filter, and your cart might have Phillips head screws, or it might have 8mm hex head. Mine has 8mm hex head. What we're going to do is we're going to get right down under where that 25 is. And here you can see, there's one there. One back here. There's one there. Pull them three out. It should pop right out. Those were 5 sixteenths. Fasteners. It's a tight fit, but there it is. Don't mind my workbench, it's a little bit of a mess. I'm going to clean this box up before we get started, mainly because I don't like working on dirty things. Here's where the modification is going to happen. I'm going to cut this. Clean off. You can see I can put my pointer finger in there, can't get my thumb through there. When I cut that out, that'll open it up nice and wide. I know online there, do some research. Buggy's gone wild, uh, stuff like that, where they really hop up these club cars. They talk, they talk, they tell you how the Yamaha FE series engines are really finicky with their carburetor and their jetting. So, Honestly, it's got to get pulled through the filter, gets pulled through the track, and I've already jetted it up. So, a lot of cats put cold air intakes and all on there. I don't want to do that. I want to keep it stock. You can see all the mud on there. Run around the land. I think this will be the safest way to get a little bit more air in there, but still use a pleated filter for crud and save the engine that I just rebuilt. With our pretty cleaner, but still wet, I'll clean it right more when I, before I put it in. I want to pull this lever off and take just a little bit off of this back side this will allow this flap to open up on its lock so right now there's a little bit of motion there that i can take up just to get that open ever so slightly more simple to do i'll pop that spring off pop that e-clip off and a linkage and shaft comes out with the e-clip off Boom, see all that dirt. That guy pushes out, there she blows with the spring. So let me clean this off. There are some O-rings on there. Sorry about that, you can't really see them because they're crusty. It's modified. This is now, with it modified, we are now resting firmly on a stop. And it's probably only a hair that you can see, but it was like that. Does that make a difference? Probably not, but I like to do it anyhow. This way here, we got full motion. Full close, full open. There are multiple ways to skin a cat. I choose to do it with a hacksaw.
if I end up with any ill effects, I can always just glue that back on. Instead of breaking it off, you definitely don't want to do that. So I'll put it back together with a new filter, and we'll see how she makes out. Clean air box is back in. I'm running to the store to get a new replacement filter. Movie magic. It'll be back together in a second. Well, I don't know if it helped or it didn't help. Top speed of this cart, 17 mile an hour. Put it together. It needed an air filter. Runs great. Bounces off the governor at 17. And honestly, when you're running through the woods, as you can see, 17 mile an hour is pretty quick. I'm probably going 12. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. Check me out on Instagram, the Bells Mountain Garage. See you later.